Hey everybody, just a quick clip. Got this idea from uh, Mr. Rob Bob down in Australia of making a little vacuum. I had bought, see if I can find it here, one of those pump action aquarium vacuums. Never worked. What I did here, and I'll pull it out in a minute and show you, is made, I took one of the tubings off that to save some money, and this works great. See down sucking up all the trash and dirt. Let's try over here. See there's a lot of food and stuff down there next to that tube. You can watch it get it all sucked up. Look at that. And it's going right out into my solids filter. And this water's cold. My hand's freezing. Sorry fish. But yeah, now I can get some of this stuff up that may be contributing to the uh, fogginess of the tank. The only problem is I have to take out the slow um, the solids lifting whatever out. Let me just do a little bit more here. My hand's going numb. Get a little bit more done in here. And I'll do the rest later, like in May when the water warms up. Ah, okay, let me disconnect it here. There we go. Whoops. Yeah, that part wasn't on too great. Let me go to some shaded area so I can see the camera and kind of show you. So what I did here is it's a piece of three quarter. Um, yeah, it's a good length, a couple feet. There's a uh, slip to thread three quarter. Then a three quarter inch uh, male to three quarter inch barb. And this tube wasn't quite three quarter inch inside diameter, so I might have to find another tube that's better. But I'm gonna try to get this back on here and maybe put a clamp on there because it's perfect size or perfect length. And then on this end, same thing. I had a uh, barb to male three quarter, uh, female to slip three quarter. And you probably don't need this part if you got this correctly, and your sizes may differ. I bought one of these plugs. Uh, I thought it was a two. I thought I had a two-inch drain line in the tanks. So I don't I have an inch and a half. So luckily, I had. Well, I had a inch and a half plug here to th half inch thread. So I uh, and I also had a half inch thread to three quarter inch slip. So I didn't have to make another trip to Home Depot. Next time I'm there, I might get go ahead and get one of these in three quarter, so it doesn't uh, bog down at the half inch. I don't know. And then I had a coupler as well because in my tank where my slow comes in, that's the inch and a half, I glued these pieces up. Not really thinking. What I should have done is glued this and not glued this so I could have connected it there in the center and it would have been great. So while I had this out, I'm gonna screw these screws in a little more, get a little less space there because I got a couple new fish couple of large koi there. Well, they only charged me for a small. And then I got a couple goldfish, fancy goldfish that my daughter liked. And uh, I don't want them to get sucked up inside the slow there. Solid lifting, I can never remember what the O is for. Output? I don't know. But yeah, you can see I still got some dirt down there. So I'm gonna wanna clean up a little bit more, but I'm gonna wait till it's a little warmer next week before I do any more. I'm just happy I finally got that part to work. So, and you gotta make it, you can't make it too long because you saw that everything was under the water, yet you can't have your tube come up out of the water or it won't create the, the gravity suction needed. So, remember that, because when I first put it in, a little bit was out and you can see the air bubble in it. And as I submerged it, you saw the air bubble get sucked in. So it's, your hose and pipe have to be completely submerged for it to work. But it works quite well. I mean, it picked up a lot of crap there. So I'm gonna clean up some more. So anyway, that's it for this clip. I'm gonna do a little bit of work here. I'm gonna shorten that up. I don't think I'm gonna break the saw out for that yet. So, and what I will do is I'm gonna drill a cap 
that's going to go inside here because right now I have a fine mesh bag that I was using to filter out plastic pieces. Now that I think I've gotten, gotten, that's not a word, is it? All the plastic pieces out, I want to take that bag off so in case a fish just a fish does get sucked in, it doesn't die in that net. That's what happened with the last couple small goldfish. So anyway, that's it. I will talk to you guys in the next clip. See you later. Bye, fishes. See you guys. Guess I lied. I am out here. It's Friday. Uh, didn't rain last night, but we're expecting rain tonight. Um, nice puffy clouds. But yeah, I went and got more hydrotin. Because if I'm going to fill up half of these beds with it and I install all the Dutch buckets and I'm filling up net pots um, inside and outside, I'm going to need a bunch more. Right now, I I finished the strawberry rail. I had to put up uh, support here because um, I was originally I only had the support on each of the tall beams. It was sagging. I should have went Schedule 20 or Schedule 40. I went with the sewer drain stuff and it's more flimsy so I put in some 2x4 supports and a couple more hooks in the middle and it's working fine now. It's on right now. You can see down there I got the hose connected to the valve and then I went ahead and piped instead of just draining in the bucket. I went ahead and did a pipe. An extension. I had all the parts here. What I had to do is do a uh, three quarter to half and it's kind of leaking there. I'm going to have to because it is kind of bending around this a little bit. I might have to go ahead and glue that up um, later. I don't know. I, I, I hate keep shutting it off and turning it on and having to, you know, do up the parts. I probably should have just glued it. But anyway, it is what it is. And um, a couple drips here and there I don't really care about. It doesn't matter. But right now I'm, I'm planting the strawberries I got the other day and I wanted to point out that this came from one pot so you know pick a good pot um, when you're out there picking strawberries or any plants in, in fact because you usually more have more than one plants at this one pot I got one two three looks like six I don't know if this one's gonna make it I'm gonna put the smaller ones let's go ahead and grab one i'm just going to put them directly into the uh the bed here for a while make sure it makes it i need to before i start playing there but all you gotta do is put your finger oh, it's wet right there just make sure whoops camera's not there make sure you get this crown up and out of the uh the water level there so hopefully that will be good you see I got all these going here. These are all the um, the fancy name I can't pronounce. Uh, I don't even know where the tag went. I uh, don't know. The sequoia, no, these aren't the sequoias. I'm doing the sequoias now. Yeah, these are sequoia. The ones I'm doing now. These are the Quinn something. I know I left the tag. That's the red beef stick. I better put that in there. Which one is that now? <laughs> I think that's that one right there. Yeah. Make sure he's getting water. Yep. I'm probably going to prune that, that stem off. I'm going to come here and prune these up a little bit anyway. You know, get the, uh, what do they call it? Um, oh, I forget what they call these little things in the, in the elbows of the things. I don't have my big... Composting going, so probably gonna take those off all together and get some clippers in there. I can't remember the name right now. I'm sure you guys do. The ones that come in right in here, in between the elbow. I got a name for them. I want to get rid of them. They'll take up all the energy from the growth. Yeah, I'll get the rest later. I love the smell. Sorry, it's on my fingers. I love the smell of cut tomatoes. So anyway, let's grab one of these and see if I can do this one-handed. Um, just rinse them off well, get most of the dirt off, and then 
and I just put tomato stuff in there. I'm gonna set it in the pot. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one-handed. I'm holding it with my beard. So, oh, you can't see it. I'm not gonna be able to do it. So, uh, basically, let's try this. You just wanna fill up around it, keeping that uh, crown up above. Almost there. I can fill the top off some more. I'm trying to get it to stand up a little better, but the light will, you know, the sun will get it standing up a little bit better once it gets settled in. That's it. And oh, I was going to start these on this end to kind of uh, break them apart. Yeah, so you can see I got the water level kind of high right now. I'm going to do that for probably a week. And I even drilled a hole here because, again, I don't want to keep on taking this off all the time. I did have... Where's the piece that I did? No. That's not it, but it's like it. What I did is I cut a coupler in half. I can't see the camera because it's kind of glared. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's still stuck in there, I think. I think I couldn't grab it. But I, I cut the coupler in half, and it turned out that wasn't high enough. So, and my focusing is off. Focus. There we go. So, that's when I drill this hole on top so I can reach my finger in there. And let's see if I can show you inside there. You can see it. So I put a full coupler on there. It's a little bit higher than I wanted. I don't know if you can see the net cup in there. Um, let's try over here. You can see inside the, the hole there. The camera's on the other side of the phone. You guys can't really see in there. But I guess you can look in here and see the level of the water. It's about a quarter to maybe three-eighths of an inch deep there above the neck cup. So I'm going to do that for about a week till the, gro the roots start coming out of the... Uh... And I'll check every once in a while. You can pop them out. I want the uh, roots coming out and dangling out of the net cup. Whoops, you weren't seeing it there. Roots coming out and dangling out of the net cup. And then I'll remove that coupler and lower the water down. And actually, well, at that time, I'll probably push this up a little bit higher. Because I did pull it down um, when I was trying to get everything level. It was kind of holding it up. So, but... Yeah, that's what I'll do until I get it to a tr um, lot of root a root growth. And what I might even do down the road, when it gets going, I'm going to be running an airline. Yeah, it's still not focusing. I'm going to be running an airline from there, all the way down here, and up along here. So any beds I do is DWC, I can pop in an air bubbler. I might also pop in an air bubbler in here maybe i'll drill a hole for it that's why i keep the first well i drilled a hole in the other end but I, that's why i kept this first one open so i can uh, access it i'm gonna get some net pot foam uh plugs to go over there this guy needs a little more hydrogen in there hydrogen whatever you want to call it Wink. so and that will sit down it'll be a small bubble over we'll kind of aerate the water in here some more so and here's what I was telling you that there's two plants in there there's one two there's three four plants in there so when you buy a pot if you look around you can get one that has a lot of plants uh, one thing I would look out for is like it was either this one or this one or probably both I got one that had a lot it was big growth like that and they were really tangled together it took a while to get them worked apart without ripping too many roots so watch out for that as well if you get if it's really it's more mature than the other ones you know because you want strawberry sooner i'd buy the younger ones so that um give them a chance to grow on their own and they're not ripping up the roots so before i end this clip and go back to my planting that pump is driving me nuts it's a lot louder than it used to be 
So I'm gonna order the big kahuna pump from Amazon tonight so I have it on hand in case it fails. I'm just worried about it. So that's it for this clip, guys. I'm looking forward to strawberries. I'm hoping everything goes well. Everything that's gone wrong, I'm hoping these go well and it is kind of windy. I may want to figure out how to do a windscreen or something. I'm gonna all blown over. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll leave you with this tomato plant as our closing shot. See ya. I forgot to show you. Remember I told you I sprinkled in some spinach seeds in here? Looky, looky, looky. I'm gonna have to sprinkle some more after a couple days in case uh, a lot of them don't take or there's something happens and there's the best one so far. So those are from seeds that is sprinkled in here. Spinach seeds, so I'm gonna probably sprinkle some more or once I get this topped off with hydride, hydrogen, I'll put some more seeds in there. But that's, that's encouraging. We might have some spinach here in a couple weeks. Yay! Okay, for reels now, we'll leave you with this evening shot. Talk to you guys later. Be happy.